Today the topic of discussion is recursion and I have seen and I have listened from many of the students that they find it a bit difficult to understand recursion. I promise you within 5 to 10 minutes I will make this topic very easy for you, very very easy for you. So let's start with recursion. If I see the definition of recursion, when a function call itself again and again, when a function call itself again and again, that is function is calling itself again and again, unless and until its base condition is reached. That is if a function is calling itself again and again, unless and until its base condition is reached, till then the function is calling. Suppose John is a function and John is calling itself again and again, John, 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 John. This means what? Is John mad? If somebody is calling infinite time himself or somebody else, this means he is a mad. So since if he is not a mad, then there should be some base condition at which this, this should terminate, this should terminate. So this termination condition is called base condition. This termination condition is called base condition. So using recursive algorithm, if I say recursive algorithm, so using recursive algorithm, certain problem can be solved. If I say recursive algorithm, you can solve certain problem quite easily. So this is one of the important algorithm. Example of such problems are Tower of Hanoi, as we have already studied, in order pre order post order traversal of tree that is to traverse a tree if i say this is a tree then in order to traverse a tree you can traverse it at pre order you can post order you can use in order so if you use any of the order then you might be using recursion and dfs if you want to traverse a graph fine if i show you example of code then here in function main we are calling a function recursion so it will jump to its body and inside the body we are again calling a function that is the body of a function function is calling itself that is function call itself it's a clear-cut example of recursion a best example which can represent our recursion now in the next slide i'll show you how to calculate factorial of a program using factorial of a number using recursion that is this is a program to calculate factorial of a number using recursion. So what is factorial? If I say you want to calculate the factorial of 4. So what is the factorial of 4? 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This is what 24. So this program will calculate the factorial by using recursion. By using what? Recursion. So let's start with this program. Let's have an understanding of this program. So what we did in function main, we have created two variables, one a and one fact. Fine. And then I've asked user enter the value for calculating factorial. That is, I am asking user for which number you want to calculate the factorial. User is saying, let's calculate factorial of 4. So what this a will have 4. That is, variable a will have value 4. And what I am doing is that I am calling a function rec. Here I have created a function rec. You can use Ricky or whatever you want. I have created a function by name rec and passing value a that is 4. So what will happen and this and the written will come to the fact. So immediately it will jump to the definition of rec. It will jump to the definition of rec and this value of a will be passed to the variable x that is actual argument will be passed to the formal argument formal parameters fine. So what will happen in body of recursion what am i doing is that i've created one variable f fine that is not an issue again i'm checking that is x is equal to one no x is not one because x is four condition is false so i'll come to the else part and what am i doing is in else part x into what is x four into rec 4 minus 1 is what 3 and semicolon means what inside the function of rec inside the definition of rec i'm calling rec with new value three this is what a clear cut example of recursion. So in order to understand this, I have created one new body, which you need not to create. I will, I have only created to make you understand what recursion is all about. So again, I'm calling a function recursion with value three. So this X will have now value three. Again, it will check is X is equal to one. No, X is not one condition is false. What will happen? It will go to the else part condition. Now current value of X is three, three into rec three minus one is what two. Again, I'm calling a function rec with value two. Again, I have created one body that is the new value will be passed to the new body that is 2 and it will again check is x is equal to 1. No, x is not 1. Condition is again false. It will go to the else part that is 2 into x minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1. That is again I am calling a function with value 1. Now what will happen? I am calling a rec function with value 1. Uh, again, I have created one more body and this value of 1 will be passed over here. Now it will again check is x is equal to 1. Yes, 
now x is 1 condition becomes true so i will execute if part so and if part is saying if the value is true then return 1 to whom it will return the value this function is called by this this entire body is ca called by this function so what will happen this will return a value 1 this body will return a value 1 to this particular call so this the, the this value becomes 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 so f become 2 and in next line i am returning 2 returning f that is returning 2 this body this entire body is called by which function this function so this will return value 2 to this function that is the value of this call is now converted to value 2 so 3 into 2 becomes 6 so f is now 6 i am returning 6 to whom i will return 6 i will return 6 to this because this has called me so i have written 6 to this so 4 into 6 becomes 24 so f will become 24 and written f means what i am returning value to whom i will return from where i have received the call i have received the call from this so i will return 24 to the fact because fact is catching the value which is called by recursion so what will happen in next line i printed the value of fact that is factorial value is equal to fact and now what fact is having 24 so answer of factorial list 4 is 24 which is absolutely fine now now you might be thinking that why i have created this body because in actual scenario body is never created 100 percent correct body is never created i have just created body to make you understand so what actually takes place so whenever a function is called whenever a recursion takes place a data structure is maintained and that data structure a data structure is maintained and that data structure is known as a data structure is maintained and that data structure is known as stack so whenever a function is called a stack is maintained so what will happen these intermediate value first of all four was generated four will kept in uh, four will be pushed onto the stack then 3 will be pushed onto the stack, then 2 will be pushed onto the stack, then 1 will be pushed onto the stack, and finally 1 is the last value because at 1 we have reached the base condition. This is actually the base condition. The function is calling itself, function is calling itself again and again unless and until when the base condition is reached. The moment base condition is reached, function stops calling. Fine. So it will stop calling. Now I will pop value 1 and multiply with 2. So 1 into 2 become 2. Now what I'll do, I'll multiply, I'll pop value 2 and multiply with 3, then it will become 6. Now I will pop 6 and multiply with 2, it, this with 4, so two, two in, 6 into 4 will become 24. So finally the answer becomes 24. So this was all about recursion, that is how recursion is taking place. So always remember, when a function is called, when a recursion is taking place, place a stack a data structure which is called stack is maintained and what is stack a lifo based structure lifo means last in first out the value which comes to the last is what is comes comes out first fine lifo last in first out so if i uh, no give a brief description so what actually happened when i have called for 4 factorial what actually happened 4 into 3 factorial is called then then what happened 4 into 3 into 2 factorial is called then what happened 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 factorial is called since the value of 1 factorial is 1 so now what will happen i'll move back first of all i was moving in front and at last i'll start moving back so the moment i'll move back i'll keep on multiplying the intermediate values and finally at last we'll get the result so at last what we'll get we'll get 24 so this was all about recursion that how recursion what recursion is and how this program is working that is program to find factorial of a number using recursion.